In this video, I'm going to talk about emotionally unstable women. Hi, Sharp Game coming at you with another video from ChooseYourRelationships.com, author of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So yeah, it is. There is um from time to time I get questions from guys and you know a lot of guys are just going through some stuff with a lot of women and some of it is unfortunate some of it is um not necessarily their fault and it's not even necessarily the woman's fault in some cases but you know there's some women out here that are emotionally just unstable you know some people call these women uh, bipolar that's what the, the that's what at least what the doctors say anyway but it, that, you don't have to be a genius to figure out that there's something wrong with some women it's just some people there's something wrong with some people um you know women are emotional that's a given they can't help it but there's different levels to this some women are kind of when they get emotional they go they 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 go extra everything is extra everything is exaggerated like for example like um one minute she's happy the next minute she's crying and you're trying to figure out what's going on and she tells you she's crying because she thinks she's a bad mother all of a sudden and you'd be like where did this come from all, all of a sudden we weren't even talking about that she was just sitting there just started crying and you trying to figure out what's going on you know, it's like everything is exaggerated. Everything is uh, dramatic, highly dramatic. It's like, um, and, and a lot of these women, they tend to destroy all their relationships. The people that's closest to them, they'll, they'll do damage. They'll destroy a relationship. Because what usually happens is they don't like being responsible for their actions I mean the average woman don't anyway in, in America but these women take it a step further they'll get so uh, dramatic they'll they might even think about calling the cops on the guy or, or on one of the, the, their relatives and for no logical reason uh, they'll say something like if you ask them hey why did you why you want to call the cops on them they'll say because I was afraid I like afraid for what afraid for my safety but did you do anything did, did that person do anything to make you afraid it's like no I I just needed I just I, I, I just you know wanted to be safe so it's no logical reasoning because if and I meant somebody that's like this. I know someone that's like this. If I if I didn't do anything wrong, I'm not gonna really be in fear of my life or in fear of anyone hurting me. Not saying that I can't be touched, but that's just that's just how my mind works. If I didn't do anything wrong, I'm not gonna be looking over my shoulder. But they don't think that way. They think, and, and a lot of times it's like this. A lot of these women have done so much dirt. They can't believe that someone believes in doing the right thing. They think that if you're treating them a certain type of way, you must want something or you must be up to something you know and that's because they and, and a lot of times 
um, a, a lot of these women will flip out on a guy like all, all the time. You know, you, you have to pretty much watch what you say around them because you might set them off. And a lot of time that comes from frustration because they probably didn't have the best intentions in the beginning. And they were pretty much uh, perpetrating a fraud. And when things didn't work out, now they upset. And not necessarily because of you. You just happen to be a part of her frustration. She's upset because all the stuff she's done and it didn't pan out the way she would like. The, the outcome, the result. Now you might not even know, most of the time you won't know what she's done at this point before you met her. She's not going to tell you all of that stuff because she's she has to keep up that image now and, and and let's be clear these women they know how to behave out in public at work but when they come home they act a fool and when they're around you they act a fool and when they're around the people that they're close to they act a fool now a lot of these women they have kids and a lot of the kids are being neglected in most cases the husband is being neglected. Everyone is being neglected in, in her household. And she doesn't think anything's wrong with it. Because, like I said, she's mentally unstable. You know? She doesn't see anything wrong with it. She doesn't, like, um... In most cases... You can't rationalize... With someone like this. The only way... You can really get them to do anything is what my man say you gotta either threaten them or you have to let them know what the consequences is, is gonna be if they don't do what they should be doing because a lot of these women will come home one day or well she don't have to be coming home she might be home one day and all of a sudden she'll be like man i don't feel like taking care of kids today i need a break she would just get up and leave. Now, I've seen women do this. You know, and, and these women should not, uh, fortunately, you know, they shouldn't have kids, but they got them. You know, it doesn't really, um, don't really know how to, a lot of these women tend not to really know how to plan. Well, you know, and, and they don't understand that if you have kids, you don't get no breaks. You don't get no breaks from the kids. But you you can't talk to them. You can't rationalize with them about anything. And, and, and everything that they tend to touch, it falls apart. Everything. They'll sell, they, basically, these women self-sabotage their relationships. And... They don't take responsibility for any of it. It's always somebody else's fault. You know, and you can't um, really, it's re very hard to really coexist with somebody like this because their emotions could go from A to Z, zero to 100 within seconds. They'll just flip out and you'll be sitting there trying to figure out what just happened. I just asked one question. And she's like going off, yelling and screaming and, and, and until she's about to lose her voice. And some things are over your head. And, and and I know three women that are like this. And the first time I met a woman that was like this, I like this is over my head. Because, you know, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a doctor. I haven't been trained in any in this field, um, but I've been around long enough. I've been living long enough to know, and I've I've met um, a lot of women to to know that you know the the symptoms and the signs and whatever. You know, so and as a matter of fact, I know a woman right now. Um, she said. Uh, 
Her dad's a doctor. And she's been popping pills for like since since she popping pills since she was eleven years old. And now she's fifty four, so that's that's over forty years of popping pills. So basically she's like a drug addict. And those pills got her going crazy. So she's basically like a walking zombie. And she's emotionally unstable too. Because all the drugs for for all those 40 years got her acting crazy. So a lot of times, there's multiple reasons why women act this way. Sometimes it's drugs. Sometimes it's some, some, something tragic happened to them in the past. Um, maybe they've been molested. Maybe they've been raped. Or something, something happened to them to, in the past. For them to turn into this person that they are today. You know, but I don't know about you, but I I I can't I couldn't live with somebody that's like this. I, I couldn't I couldn't do it. You know, because you never know what what could happen with a person like this. Anything could happen. I mean you might you go from being a hero to zero. You know with them and for no apparent reason no logical reason and it's kind of like it's in your mind it's not really a big deal because it's something minor or whatever and you can do the simplest things and she'll blow it up and you know it's kind of like she would get all upset, angry, yelling, screaming. But when she does something that uh, could be seen as being awful, she's laughing. Like, it's not a big deal. But because she's not a, really aware of the damage that's being done with the kids, with the husband, the boyfriend... So, in my opinion, it's probably best for you to just try to get this person some help, if you can, and uh, live separately. Now, here's a problem with this. Here's a problem with a lot of these people, a lot of these women. A lot of them hasn't, haven't been diagnosed as being bipolar or having some type of disorder. A lot of them that I know haven't. Is there's I only met one woman that actually been diagnosed as being bipolar. But the but the rest they haven't. They still, you know, still going about doing whatever they're doing. Basically, um everybody that they come into, they prey on them um destroy every relationship Dest basically they destroy everything they come in contact with any car the cars they destroy them the relationship they destroy them the kids they destroy the relationship they it, and they they don't really think anything's wrong with it though that's the thing they they you know uh, it's just it's just a tough situation man you know and I'm I'm not I have empathy for a lot of these women because the the person that they've become it's not really them it's it's not their fault in most cases unless they've been on some type of drugs or medication or something like that uh, you know I, I, I you know that's probably that's their fault but if they've been molested or raped or something like that, that's unfortunate, you know. But at the same time, I'm not going to be your victim. You're not going to prey on me. So if you can get them some help, great. If not, you're probably going to have to uh, move on. Because you can't, you can't, you, you can't let nobody bring you down you, you can't let people prey on you you have to defend yourself you know 
And like I said, these women are, are, are not stupid. They know how to behave in front of the right people. And this is how they mask a lot of their behaviors. Because see, when they go to work, they know how to dress. They know how to behave. And see, when you meet a lot of these women, in the beginning, you're not going to be able to see a lot of their bad behaviors. They'll mask them for a while. But after a couple, after about a couple weeks, couple months, it's gonna start to come out. Cause once you get them out of their comfort zone, you know you're going to say something or do something, and then they're gonna flip out, and then you're gonna be sitting there trying to figure out, hey, what just happened? I mean, she's spazzing out, she's going off, man. You know, so just be aware that these women out here that are emotionally un, 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 unstable they exist <sighs> just be careful that's, that's all I'm telling you you know so hey if you like this video give me a thumbs up share it subscribe to my channel and PS and by the way check out my patreon by clicking the link below this video so until next time I'm out peace